Asia Carrera, thank you so much. Got to check out AsiaCarrera.com. You got to come back. But our, our next guest, our next guest, kind of freaks me out. He's a bondage clown, and his name is Ouchie. He's whip smart, and he's wearing assless, le assless leather chaps right now. So, would you do me a favor and stick around to kind of protect me from him? You got it. All right, Ouchie the clown is coming up next. Stick around, everyone. <laughs> the clown and so do we now joining asia carrera and myself is ouchie the clown welcome to unscrewed ouchie hey ouchie. How you doing? so uh ouchie asia asia ouchie Sorry, asia. okay <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, have you guys have you guys worked together before by any chance uh no not that i know no, of. only the brief the brief feeding <laughs> you might not recognize me though. <laughs> uh, ouchie so are you, would you consider yourself a, a happy clown an evil clown yes <laughs> all of the above. All right. Can you, you model can be your happy get being evil, right? I guess so. Yeah. Can you model your get up for us? Model your get up. Model. I guess we can sit up. there. Get down. There it is. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> what do you call that? I, I was calling it a balkini. What is, is that a, thing? This is a posing strap. A posing strap. <laughs> That's the technical name, I think. Hey, when did you first decide that mixing bondage, discipline, hot wax, and boundary? Pushing with clownage was actually a good idea. Well, I'm still not sure it's a good idea, but uh, <laughs> I started in early 2001. Uh -huh. and, uh, and how many nights a week do you actually dress up like this? Depends on the week, I suppose. Uh, twice this week so far. Twice this week. What was the other event that you were wearing the clown outfit for? Uh, lame local TV show. Local <laughs> TV show. Okay. Whereas this one is a worldwide Wait, did I say TV voice? show. So you're not just a domination clown, you're also a professional DJ and a meeting facilitator. True. Tell me a bit about how that works, the meeting facilitation See, part. Believe me, people tend to pay attention to me whenever I'm facilitating a meeting. So, so companies actually... Look at my nose. <laughs> but do companies actually bring you in to, to a boardroom or something like that and then go through some sort of meeting facilitation? Yes. G give me a, can you give me a case example well, of when you did this? I, I've only actually had a couple of, of, of those sorts of gigs and... Um, Probably the biggest one was was facilitating a town hall meeting for the Burning Man organization. Oh, see, that doesn't count, the Burning Man organization. I thought it was like, you know, GM or something like that. You were <laughs> Ogilvy and Mather called me once. Who? Ogilvy and Mather. So the, the advertising yes. people, right? Yeah. Did you actually go in and do no, something they, for them? they bailed on the last minute. So you're... you're <laughs> <laughs> so you're not just a, a, a meeting facilitator, you're also a DJ, correct? Yes. A disc jockey. That I get a lot of work doing. Y you do? Yeah. So what's the, what's the best uh, music to put on while you're being spanked? Uh, <laughs> I, I like classical music, honestly. <laughs> Like uh, Flight of the Valkyries or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that would yeah? work well. Do you have actually? Do you actually have a lot of clients, like just you know, people in the private sector, bringing you in to, to actually whip them? I mean, this whole dominatrix thing—it's it's new to me. I mean, are people <laughs> actually doing this out there? You at get least, a lot of at work least for the public. It's yeah. Easy, right? um, I don't have a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients that, that are repeat clients. A, a couple here and there. More often than not, I'm hired for birthday parties or oddly enough, bachelor parties. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> I've done more bachelor parties than I've done any other kind of party. Asia, have you done a lot of this kind of work in, in your film career, this sort of S&M kind of thing? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not with anyone in a clown suit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> would, you, would you like to get into that, that sort of film work, though? Clown bondage? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your it's career is sort of, it's <laughs> sort of, you're 29 now, you say your career is almost over. This might be a way to, to revive the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah, right, when your face starts to fall, you put on the makeup, nobody can tell. Uh, Ouchie, do, do you have any, any any clown idols, you know, people that you've looked la at over the years and said, damn, that is one fine clown? Well, I'll definitely show my age if I say so, but uh, I always enjoyed Red Skelton. Red Skelton. Yeah, you're like, who? No, I've heard of Red <laughs> Skelton, actually. What about Ronald McDonald? Does he do it for McDonald's. you? Ronald <laughs> He would be a great bottom. <laughs> What does that term mean? What does that term mean, bottom? The person on the receiving end of this. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So, 
In your opinion, anyone out there that is just in a real need of being a bottom on the receiving end of that, someone There's out so there? so many people, a lot of them in our federal government, that are in need of being a bottom, for sure. John Ashcroft? John Ashcroft would be one. Okay. Do you think that John Ashcroft would enjoy being a bottom? He could probably sing while he's doing it. <laughs> so, Asia, do you have any questions for Ouchie the Clown? No. <laughs> Now, Archie, you know, people <laughs> might think at home that this isn't true, but you actually have a wife at home. I do. Okay, what, what does your wife think about the whole bondage clown <laughs> thing that you got going on? Uh, you should ask her. Uh, I think she thinks it's amusing, silly, funny, weird, strange. Yeah? Yeah. But, but do you do it? I mean, is she into the whole thing? Do you not whip her? Not at all. She's not a player at all. Do you have a, you have a baby on the way, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it, rumor travels fast, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Little clown baby. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're also into something called culture jamming. Culture what, jamming. what is culture jamming? Putting things where they don't belong, uh, like like clowns, for example. Um, we we enjoy going and being clowns in places where you don't expect to see it and where it seems somewhat inappropriate. Uh, one of our recent things that we did was to go to Napa Valley and with ten clowns and go wine tasting, pretending like there was. Nothing strange at all. Like, <laughs> we're tasting our wine, you know. Did, what, was, did they allow you into all the wineries? Robert Madavi, Robert Madavi personally threw us out. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he so did. You're, you're actually not. Uh, Asia's not the only porn star on the couch. You've actually also been in porn movies, correct? A few. A few. Yeah. Just they're really lame, though. Really? <laughs> Not, not due to anything I did, of course. Is that all you did in the movies, was be your clown and whip people, or did you actually get into more of the kind of, you know, dirtier aspects there of the There were some of the dirtier aspects in some of them, yeah. All right. Dirty. Nasty. All right.